Hello guys, Tops here. Today I have a special video for you and the video is how to get easy loot and how to level up your company fairly easy. And the trick is you leave camps alive that are near towns and especially brigand camps. But you can also do that with, um, with uh, goblin camps, undead camps, you can do this you kind of want to do this too with barbarian camps because barbarian camps uh, can spawn uh, barbarian kings. So you kind of want to leave these alive, but they are more in the north. But especially in the middle of the map, there will be a lot of brigand camps, camps near the town. And as you can see, it's day 200 and I know there's a brigand camp, there's a brigand camp, there is a brigand camp. There are brigand camps as well and here. I didn't clear them at all. I'll just let them be and let them spawn. What that means is that on this street, all the brigands will ambush the caravans. And what that means is that I can fairly easy, easily farm the brigands. Here's an undead company. That's because we have an undead crisis. But it is really efficient for me to just go and search for the brigands. And most of the time around this street, I will find a lot of lot of brigand companies that I can attack then and loot. Okay, this, these ones are chasing me. So, leave them, leave camps alive near towns. Don't take the contracts that would uh, say you kill the camp and just leave the camps alive. You can also go closer to the camps if they are not, the brigands are not raiding the, the streets. You can just linger around the camps and wait until the enemy parties are spawned and then farm them. That's also an easy way to get gear. And why that is so good is because, especially when the game advances, almost all raiding parties have brigand leaders and there is a chance that they have hedge knights. And you want to farm the brigand leaders and especially the hedge knights for battleforge armor and, and for nice weapons. See, uh, hedge knights can have nice coat of plates, nice helmets. They can have big weapons and the uh, brigand leaders can have big weapons too. So you kind of want to farm them. Just leave the camps be near the towns and farm the raiding parties that spawn. Um, this works especially well on near towns that don't have uh, big companies that defend them, like the castles. The castles always spawn big companies that roam the streets, patrol the streets. So, uh, especially if you have a lot of camps near a small town, this town has nothing. It's only a tavern. And this town will get constantly raided, raided by parties. And you will see from these camps and that camp will all the parties, they all come here to raid the caravans. And they are not protected by the, by the castle over here. So here... In this area, you can find a lot of raiding parties that you can farm easily early on to get yourself armor and uh, weapons from brigand leaders and hedge knights. Uh, it, this works a little bit with uh, southern camps too, and again with barbarian camps, but the, the good gear, the really good gear that you kind of want to farm comes from brigand camps. So that's why I highly recommend leave these brigand camps alone and farm the company's late game. And you can you can always, when you know where the camp is, can always decide to still raid the camp or not raid the camp. It's up to you. You don't have to raid it immediately. You can just get the, uh, the parties that spawn. Hunt for hedge knights, hunt for brigand leaders. They have really good items and uh, dagger them down with the quick swap and use the second attack that is called puncture. And with puncture, you do direct HP damage that ignores armor. So if you do that, you can get the armor that the hedge knight is wearing. That's or the brigand leader or the brigand. That's how you basically loot gear from opponents is staggering down opponents. That's how you get armor. You get weapons if the opponent is not attacking you that much. You have a higher chance of dropping the weapon. So uh, something like a stun is always useful, so you can just stun uh, a brigand leader or um, a hedge knight and then he can't move, he can't attack you, so you can safely puncture him, fully surround him, puncture him, get his armor, get his weapon, 
and then you yeah kind of get ahead uh, with your company and get nice gear for everybody uh, uh, really early on you can also farm uh, brigand raiders this way uh, when you have a very early company and you have zero armor and you want to get the raider armor and the raider weapons you can do the same stuff to um, brigand raiders you just surround them dagger them down stun them get the gear that's how you do that and this is a very efficient way of farming gear early on and even later on it's really it's a really nice way to hunt for hedge knights and brigand leaders for famed items not for famed items uh, for for the good battle forge gear and the good big two-handed weapons all right guys uh, this is it for this video um thank you for watching if you like this uh, please like comment and subscribe by the way i stream now and uh, yeah have a nice day guys see you in the next one bye bye